Welcome dear students to a new week. In this week we will start with chapter 27 which is about the organization of the human body and all of the system includes in the body. First of all we're going to talk or explain about how the human body is organized together. Now when we talk about cell organization we're talking about the specialization of cells starting from a single unit which is a cell to get to a, an organ, organ systems and then a full organism. Uh, after that, we will be defining homeostasis. As we talked before, homeostasis means the balancing or how to keep your body stable uh, in compared to the external environmental or effect. Now, while talking about homeostasis, then we are explaining about how your body maintains, for example, your normal body temperature, which is between 36.5 to 37.5 during winter, during summer, or uh, during any different uh, environmental effect. Now, you're, you're, you as a human, your body need to maintain this homeostasis to, to keep a fixed and a stable environment, environment to all of your organs and uh, to be able to function. First of all, organization of the body. Now, when we talked about when we talk about the type of body tissues we have, we have two main uh, functions or two main type of tissues, which is epithelial tissues and connective tissue. Now, epithelial tissues used to uh, protection, to absorption, and to excretion of materials, usually found in skin, in the digestive system, and in a certain glands found in your body. In compared to the connective tissue, where it's binding with the epithelial tissues to the uh, to the structure of the epithelial tissue to support and to transport substances in and out of the tissue, usually found under the skin and surrounding the organisms like blood and bones. The other type, two types of tissues are nervous tissues and muscle tissue. Nervous tissue receiving and transmitting the nerve impulse uh, to take an action and reflection, usually found in the central and the peripheral nervous system, which is consists of the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. In compared to the muscular system or the mus muscle tissue found in the muscular system, where they divided into voluntarily and involuntarily movement, which is the one that you can control and the one that you cannot control, found in the skeletal muscle, muscles that surrounding the digestive tract and the blood vessels. Now, when we talk about the um, digestive tract, blood vessels, and the heart, then we are talking about the involuntarily movement of these types of muscles, as you cannot control the movement of these organs. Organ system. Now we have different type of organ system with a different structure and function. For example, the nervous system consists of the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Uh, the main function for them is to recognize and coordinate the body response to changes into the internal and external environmental changes. Integumentary system, which is the skin, in, uh, hair, nails, and the sweat uh, that control the oily glands. So these are all together. Uh, work against the infections and injuries that is maintain uh, also radiation, ultraviolet radiations from the sun and help regulate the, your body temperature. The last one is the immune lymphatic system, which is consists of white blood cells, thyme, spleen, lymph nodes, and lymph vessels. They help to protect the body uh, against any diseases by collecting the waste fluid from the rest of the remaining vessels from the blood and take it back to the uh, circulatory system. Thank you.